All right. Okay, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to Lockdown 2, the irregular painting tutorials set in the south of France. Um, like I said, for those who don't know us, uh, welcome and hi and um, hope you're going to enjoy this. This is a quick painting demonstration I'm going to be doing. Um, Monica's filming, she'll be full of witty anecdotes and uh, prying questions which scroll up on the screen. So do ask any questions you want and take it from there. Yeah. We've got a few people telling us they can hear us. They can hear us. Looking okay. Oh good. I'm not sounding how's, how's too angry. Okay. All right, okay, good. In that case, let's have a look. This, if you'd like, camera person, if you'd like to zoom in a bit. This is a scene from a river not far from us in Roquebrun. Now those of you who've been to Roquebrun were probably expecting the view of the village, but no. Today we're going to do the tortuous reflections and rocks and things, uh, which believe me is not easy. I did a 15 practice runs to get this going. Okay, let me just start. So I've wet the paper actually earlier on just to give it a little bit of, I'm not quite sure what. Um, and I'm going to wash some light colours on. Let me actually, before I go any further, can we just come back to the photograph, please? Um, the key thing in this picture is that lovely scene, the flowing river going down to that little point there. If you see the river goes around the corner, this is dark, this is light, and that just really helps. So bear that in mind as and when you get to paint this. There's nice dark reflections here. This is quite blue, and this is quite greeny. So that's, that's important to have that kind of colour difference to bring the drama. Let's give it a go. It's um, nice to see some familiar faces and there's some new people that have come along as well that I've definitely not seen before. All right, great, yeah. So lovely to see you all. Welcome. So I am starting with, um, is that light in the wrong place? I don't know, you tell me. It's casting long shadows across the air. Uh, is that better? One day we will splash out and get more, um, improve our equipment. So I've done a little um, cerulean blue. It's a kind of, this was taken I guess about a month ago. So it's kind of sort of early autumn picture. Did you do that on your motor? Did you take that on your motor? Uh, no, this is actually um, to credit uh, local artist Jeff Harris who supplied the photographs. He did some paintings and he asked me for some uh, feedback. So I said, tell you what, why don't we paint that picture together or you can watch and see how it goes. So cerulean blue, a little sky, there's a lots of, I'm just gonna literally just wash that on pretty loosely. Um, I'm going to add some, down, that's come down there, that's gonna be on, the trees will be on top. I'm gonna to put a little while, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in this sort of area here. Quite sort of loosely, it kind of, if you look at the picture, it kind of comes all the way across here. And it gets a little bit stronger down here. So I'm gonna a touch of cobalt blue as we come down the page. It all looks pretty loose, but today it's about loose. I'm gonna try and get this done in about an hour. Um, likewise, there's quite a lot of blue in the rock, so I'm gonna give it quite a rough big brush. This is a number 16 SAA wash brush. I'm going to just put a nice bit of a background blue color quite roughly on these on these rocks, leaving a few kind of bright patches. We've got a few people that have joined us, Manchester. And Manchester. Belder, who was on one of our holidays a couple, Aye, two, three years ago, from a COVID-free Canberra. COVID-free Canberra, excellent. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. That's encouraging. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. This is this kind of bluey wash. So we're leaving lots of light areas in the water, specifically, particularly. And I think that will work. I'm going to just, while that's still damp, I'm just going to, with a damp brush, just soften that into the green a little bit. Yeah, there we are. That's got that. Where do I sign? Okay. And now, with the cable that's not quite long enough, I'm going to just dry that off a little bit. Dry the any questions from behind the camera? Nothing at the moment, I don't think. No, not even from my wife. But, um, no, not even from your wife. We've got a few, um, Belders is watching. Um, let's see, who else is there? Ness from, um, Good. from Doha, we've got... Right, what's more again? Chile. Within minutes, we've gone global. And we have Margaret so. Bryce. Hey Margaret, 
All right, so now I'm going to mix up a very kind of yellowy, do you want to pick the sort of yellowy, greeny mix? So what yellow are you using? I've got a side? cadmium yellow okay. with a little bit of the uh, iconic sap green. So what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of quite loose, uh, well that's quite yellow isn't it? Well that is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an egg, Simon, it's no, a tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to carry on anyway, look at that, I just don't care, I'm going to put that um, into there, we're going to come back and put some green in there in a while. I just want to get that kind of, it, with the watercolour it's always good just to keep, keep work on the pale colours first. Let's keep that. Are you going bit. bold today? Bold today, we're, we're, yeah, there's obviously a deadline. And I'm just kind of just seeing where the yellow bits are. They've got a bit more over here, look. So keeping it quite vague, there's a bit more green. Yeah, come on, let's get that. Let's have that one. That's already going a little bit greeny over there. Well, I suppose, I guess I was about to ask you, aren't you, aren't you nervous sort of flowing it into your blue um, wash that you did earlier? But I suppose it's, it's not really that much of a problem because that, those are green areas in any case. Exactly, yeah. I won't, I'm not going to paint any yellow over there, over here. There's a, l a few little yellow flicks in it. If, you, if you're painting water, it's all, I always think it's good to have a, a slightly horizontal twist to it, just a little bit of um, keep those lines horizontal. I'm always so I've got a, quite a fine point on the brush there. So I noticed yep. the way you're using your brush, you're kind of using the point, but then you're almost pushing it down onto yeah. the thicker part of the brush at times as well to create that slightly... Yeah, see, well, I mean, so yeah, the brush, the nice thing about this style of brush, you've got to, you can have a little sort of, sort of fine point, and then you press on a bit harder, you've got some nice thicker washes and you can vary that. Before you know it, you've got then water. You've got water. Easy. So now, actually, I'm going to take um, a slightly smaller brush, I think, and I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna. What size is that? Just this is now a brush. This is size ten. Okay. So you went from a sixteen to a ten. Sixteen to a ten, and I'm just going to put a little texture of something in in the back here. So this is same technique, sort of fine line. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of something going on on those distant hills. Is it important to try and sort of vary your sort of brush strength as it were? I think so, yeah. I think um, to change the brush stroke it just affects the, the feel of the painting. Yeah, I, I like to begin with quite big strokes to begin with yeah. and then as the painting goes on it gets a bit finer. I mean, now I'm thinking I just need to dry that off a little because I'm trying not to, let's just dab that a bit, I'm trying to keep that quite, quite fresh here. In many ways, I should have painted my distant hills before the tree. Anyway, see that. You're seeing a lot of new faces today. Excellent. Welcome to everybody that um, hasn't been with us before. You'll find yeah. hair and um, lighting not, sessions. It's not just a, a hairbrush. A hairbrush. A hairdryer. A hairdryer demonstration. It does involve watercolor painting as well. But anyway, for those who've um, just joined in, what I did, I got the drawing done. This is the this is the painting we're doing. In case you haven't uh, seen that, this is the the river scene flowing down to that lovely little corner. This is a key point. Key point. I know. <laughs> and then why did it go slightly pear shaped? <laughs> you know, I can repair practice. this. I can repair this. Um, and we just put the light colours on first, leaving some light white areas even as well. And I'm just as I'm. I'm going to start in this area now and just sort of come forward eventually finishing with the rocks. So we've got, I think, a slightly stronger green. Let's go for a bit more sap green. Yes, I hear you cry. I'm going to put, this is just going to tickle that in there. This is, um, I want to keep a look at that yellow in there as well, really, because it's, there's some really bright yellow areas. I'm just going to kind of come in around there and then as I come down, I'm going to add a little bit of the darker green, a hooker's green. I don't know if you're, this is the, um, what I've got is um, yellows, burnt sienna, burnt umber, cadmium red. Uh, the key ones are sap green and hooker's green. And then I've got some blues, cerulean, cobalt, I think ultramarine in there. We'll see which ones we need. But now I'm just going to put a little bit of extra dark in here. So it's quite, quite it's still quite wet as well, isn't it? I know that's a mistake actually. Oh. It's supposed to be stronger than that. 
Now I don't, what I don't want to do is to see it run down the page. Oh, look at this, see? This is live, ladies and gentlemen, this is live. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit of extra dark just down there. And ideally... I quite like that. the way the colours are bleeding into each what? other. What? Out of control. <laughs> So yeah, that's got, yeah, that looks quite good. That's got a nice little depth. And then we can come over to this side. Perhaps I'll go to a slightly larger brush. That sort of mid, mid green color. Um, so the mid green, you're using your um, sap green again. Sap green, oh, that's a bit sick. I mean, you could do this. It would be, I mean, we were walking the dog today and it's obviously now looking lovely and autumnal. You could always, introduce some sort of you know some nice kind of reds and golds burnt sienna that kind of thing into the into the mix what i'm trying to do is have the the dark tree light tree okay do you see what i mean yeah so we get a little bit of distance here and now i'm just going to put a little bit touch of dark in it's going to be interesting i did this yesterday just to practice of course needless to say it went absolutely smoothly um but that's i think that's that's got a a bit going on there isn't it? that's kind of um what we're trying to do is keep that, that nice line on the rib up and uh, there we are that's great and let's have a now so we're now we're just getting those distant trees in the middle ground i'm going to put some let's start with that kind of mid green that sort of sap sap green with a little bit of cadmium yellow mixed in pretty loose style people will be um surprised but actually, uh, oh, so, oh, what we've got as well, look. If you look, can you hear, camera person? There's a nice shaft of sunlight here onto an old little rocky beach. If you can capture that, that's a nice little stepping stone into your picture. Is that bonus points, as you call bonus it? Bonus <laughs> points, if you get that. Yes, I wasn't going to say. Um, but let's have a look. There you are. That's, that's going to be much darker down here. But what's... And McGurk has joined us. Okay. Um, Fiona de Fontblanc with uh, hi, Fiona. from Somerset had joined us. I'll tell you, this is a, an international event online. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting in a little bit more that kind of mid green, sap green, quite sort of loosely here. Trying to keep that little area light down here. Let's go all the way around here as well. And that. For everybody who is watching, um, this will be on our Facebook page afterwards as well. So if you find this is all moving a little fast or a little bit slow for I you, yeah. um, you can come back and you can re-watch sections. In fact, you can watch it all. And you're going to be doing a bit of an edited version and put it on YouTube as well, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, so there'll be no more of that sort of um, climbing around trying to change the uh, microphone and stuff. We'll edit that out, even put some soft music in the background. So it's going to be just a pleasure. To, um, to take part again. Right, so what have we got? We've added a little bit of, um, for those who've just come in, there was a cerulean blue wash on the sky and then on the river a little bit and on the rocks. And then we've gone in with some very kind of yellowy green. And now I'm getting slightly stronger mixes of green as I'm coming forward, keeping that little area there, light and there. Um, so I think now what I'm gonna do is actually mix a little bit of, um, uh, I think it's cobalt blue. Well, it looks like ultramarine, actually. Well, it should be it should be cobalt. Basically, by mixing a blue in with your hooker's green, you get a really nice deep, deep green colour. So this is going to go on right here. See, this is um really quite a dark, even darker, I think. So more. No, I've got more. <laughs> I've got, You're getting brave. I'm getting brave. It could all end in tears, but yeah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? yeah. So as you come forward, you see the, you can afford to have slightly stronger, stronger colors. But you're also emulating, because that's a really, really dark area, just before yeah. the shaft, you've got the shaft of sunlight, and then immediately that's after that, I suppose it's also the way the camera exposes. That's it, stuff. yeah, that's no, true. I'm gonna just put some more in there, like that. Let's hint at some, uh, We'll come back to those a bit later. And um, back to the mid green colour. A little bit of that. And yeah, so now we've got this nice sort of silhouette, if you like, of a bush here. 
Hopefully that I'm trying not to get them to blend together. I want to have that standing out on its own. Yeah, there we are. Oh, can we just bad. show them the picture oh, again? Yes, there we are. So, so we've just been doing this kind of see this kind of nice dark bush. Key point in the picture, ladies and gentlemen, that kind of dark, dark light thing going. Now we're going to put some of these reflections in. Um, you need to catch some of that love. It's going to drip. You reckon? I think so. Okay, quick. It's looking, it's looking imminent. Right. See? Look. Oh. I'm down here. Yeah. Uh, well, the challenges of working vertically, ladies and gentlemen, without a net. So what I've got now, I'm going to put some. You tend not to, don't you? You you prefer actually work, working in a slightly more horizontal environment, don't you? Uh, yeah, it's it is kind of a it is an easier way of doing it. But it, 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 I like working on a on an easel when it does make you feel more dramatic. You've got to make uh, bolder gestures and, and working on plan air is, is good like that as well. You know, you can grasp look at the view, painting, it's certainly more traditional in a way, but harder in some other ways. So I'm just literally putting this kind of, um, once again, a quite fine line on the brush. This is this sort of mid green color we've got a We've already got some yellow in the background. This comes over here. When you were talking about painting on plein air, on our painting holidays, people do kind of have a choice, don't they? They can either sit at a chair with yeah. a board, or we have e e um, easels that can be supplied. We have everything, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we, we take sort of comfortable chairs and boards for people to rest on their knees to work with. Um, or there's the option of um, working with a, an easel. That's, that's quite good to try out sometimes as well, anyway. Uh, right, I'm just bringing in some... Uh, so that's kind of the reflected light from the trees on the... Yes, this is right. Once again, see that lovely horizontal movement, which which may or may not work. But I'm just kind of putting a few... We've got a little bush handily, which comes over here. Um, but I'm just trying to keep that... that and what you'll see is you'll get... Where it's dark, you'll get a nice dark reflection now let's see if I can do that and the nice thing is you see, this is still a bit damp so it, it will naturally bleed down into the uh, oh it's brilliant even though I say it himself let's have a little bit across there and then a little bit this is like the edge of the if you look it kind of just reflects what's above the waterline so here's there's a dark bit make it a little bit darker and then this comes down here, and actually that works. Well. <laughs> that works quite well. That I've just put the kind of mid-green horizontal stripes in, and now putting a darker in, it actually kind of it sort of blends quite nicely. You sound surprised, Simon. Um, I'm always surprised. But yeah, so now we're going to just put a little bit something in there. Maybe a little bit darker there. I suppose with watercolor, it's not as Especially when you're doing this kind of loose technique that you're using at the moment, it's not like oils or um, acrylics where you can kind of go back and work it's, over it's stuff. True. It's true. It's a little bit more spontaneous, isn't it? It is, which I think um, can can work in your favour. But often the, the a beginner will say, "Oh, if only I was working in oils or, or acrylics, I can make I can correct things." But if you can persevere with watercolour, it's, it's a lovely medium for this kind of um, very quick kind of almost uh, watercolour sketch technique. Um, just sort of carefully going from light to dark and then um, building on them. So we've just got a few more. I could really do with drying that off. But Why don't you? Because <laughs> the, the hairdryer only reaches this far. It wouldn't get that far. <laughs> So let's have a look. I've got this little beach here, and there's a bit more dark. Let's put a little bit of an angle there. That's quite good, isn't it? So once again, this is now the the hooker's green. We've done some cadmium yellow and sap green mix, some sap green, and now we've got some hooker's green. And down here we've got some hooker's green plus a bit of cobalt blue to give it some uh, intensity. And the way things are going, we'll be going no early. Stay awake, darling. <laughs> Are you, are you there? What are you doing? Um, not at the painting. Uh, so yes, I can tell that. I was actually looking at the dog and watching the, the leaves. We've we've got, um, well, it's autumn, so all the leaves are coming down. And even though I swept our terrace a few days ago, it's um, 
full of leaves again. There They're we. quite pretty though. It's nice, it's nice to have the sunshine back, isn't it? It is. Um, Okay, I'm now going to. We've got some green in there. If I stand back, maybe I should quickly show people our. Okay. Don't know if they can see much. Yeah, I'll case. just um, go and have a cup of tea or something. Come back in a minute. <laughs> All right. And who'd hold your camera? That's true. Yes. I'm going to put some. Simon Taylor blue. has joined us. Joe Thompson is watching. Hey guys, nice to have you on board. I'm just slowly building this scene up. Well, in fact, Simone ta did, did, Taylor. Sorry. Did somebody? say he's making up as he goes along probably i'm just trying to bring in a little bit of extra shape if you look at the picture down here it's quite sort of swirling swirling water which is always difficult to catch but what i've done and a lot bluer as well a lot bluer isn't it? i'm on it it's lighter here and it gets bluer here it's sort of yellowy and greener so i've kind of washed those in first and now i'm putting some extra dark bits on um let's just i'm just sort of Trying to keep the light area shining through as well. It's just kind of, so I'm sort of changing the pressure on the brush. It's kind of, um, oh, it's quite nice when you, the, as the brush dries out, you get a little bit of texture as well. Uh, that's not too bad. I think I might just put a few little swirls. Very light brushwork now. Maybe a few down here. I'd be terrified at this point. Terrified. <laughs> I'm fine. Maybe that's why I leave you to I paint. Can, I can handle it. I talk, you paint. There we are, that'll do. That'll do. Um, so I'm, I'm going to leave that now. I've got a bit more. It might come in a little bit stronger down here, but what I'm going to look at now is a slightly bigger brush and some of these rocks. People go, oh, rocks, what can you do? Oh, I hate rocks. How do you do it? But what I've done, I've just put them a little bit of basic colour. I mean, they're very kind of blue anyway. And I'm going to mix... A little bit of... Uh, We've got Ricka Whitlock has joined us and Eileen yay. Slatterly, another person from Canberra. Canberra. Greetings to Canberra. What's Great the weather? Aussies. What's the temperature like there? Pretty good, I should think. I'd imagine it's so. summer, isn't it? They've gone into summer, yeah. Lucky yeah. things. <sighs> Mine, it's not, but I think it's I think it's about not 18 to here today. That's yeah, not bad, is it? It's not. It's a beautiful day. So, deep breath, we've got some trees in the background. I might touch those up a little bit. We've got uh, some nice reflections going on um, with the lighter colour shining through. You could paint this picture a thousand times and it would all be different. But now I'm looking at these rocks. So I'm going to, I've got this kind of um, cerulean blue and grey mix up. Let's have a look. I'm going to put some big, uh, big old shadows on this. This is quite a good brush to use because you can kind of get it on flat, you see what I mean? Get some... Well, this is warm in Canberra. Warm in Canberra, I'm yeah. glad, I'm happy with you because they were struggling through the winter, I know. Um, well, we're kind of swapping places this time, we aren't are, we? We are, yes. So, once again, I've still got this cerulean blue. I'm trying to get a little bit of extra... Oh, that's a bit... I'm not quite sure. It's nice when the brush... Dry the brush out on a bit of paper and then you get that nice kind of thing going on like that look you just I'm trying to leave some areas light and put some big shadows there and what's, what's quite nice you can see that as you drag your brush over you get kind of instant rock effect you've been quite graphic with this aren't you I am really yeah Simone Taylor's from Liverpool crisp and sunny oh. here oh I'm glad to see uh, you. you've got a good. sunny day in in the UK yes. and especially slightly further up north indeed so da -da 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 -da. yeah so I'm just sort of trying to kind of maintain some kind of order and uh, what's happening in here I'm going to make some put some slightly darker shadows in there as well. well so do. that colour you just literally you what are you using is it your cerulean I've blue? I've got the cerulean blue with, with a little, little bit of Payne's paint grey and a touch of I thought this was cobalt but it has a look of ultramarine about it but if you look at the didn't you look at your tubes when you were <laughs> squeezing them in, darling? I just squeezed them in. Um, that's almost too blue. I'm going to keep going with it. That's it. Yeah, that's better. So that, now I'm just... The, the paints, as you come forward, your paint is slightly thicker. I'm going to put some slightly stronger lines on. I'm going to put a few little tufts of grass in as well. But now you can see the... Hopefully you can see the, the rocky shapes. They look, they look, all looks a bit too spectacular, but uh, welcome to Marie Christine. 
Hi. And Mary Arthur. Mary Arthur, okay. There we are. I'm just sort of putting some quite large stuff, I'm putting some bold shadow strokes in, then some fine lines here and there. And that's kind of looking quite nice. It's sort of based loosely on what we've got here. I think I might just. I mean, is that the trick when you're doing rocks? Is rather than getting, don't get too obsessed with the detail. Because can we just quickly go into yep. there? You know, I mean, if you actually look at that, Ooh, there's yeah, lots of there's a scary there. amount of detail in yeah. that. It's all, I'm trying to simplify it. Yeah, with these reckless, bold brushstrokes, I sort of drew them out so you kind of know where the rocks are. And now I'm just kind of, you know. I'm going to come back and put some lines on here. Eileen says dry brush and rocks are great tip. They are, yes. Well, that's kind of what you're there for, aren't you? That's right, yeah. <laughs> dry brush. It kind of um, about this kind of size. And um, yeah, because if you've got a bit of paper, if you imagine you've got your little piece of scrap paper. Sorry, Simon's busy grabbing yeah, sorry. a piece of scrap paper. Scrap paper. And um, so, yeah, once you've, you know, as your brush dries out, you get some nice textures especially if you've got quite a rough watercolor paper this is 420 gram paper and rough rough finish which is gives you a nice texture and is you've it got any particular brand that you use um it's saunders waterford saunders this one is saunders foot waterford saunders <laughs> saunders waterford i think yes um 420 gram and it, it's got a nice um a nice weight to it and you've got you can use both sides i've got you can, there's a rougher side and a slightly smoother side. So um, this is the slightly smoother side, but there's enough texture going on. Um, right, what's next? I mean, that's quite a heavy weight um, watercolor paper that you're using, because I mean, watercolor paper comes in as light as about 250 grams, doesn't it? Yeah, sure. I think what's, what works, what works for me is that by having a, that weight of paper, it means you can paint bang straight onto it quite quite wet quite bold colors um and it'll keep its shape so you don't have to stretch it you don't have to stretch it no i mean i do tape things down just to on the board just to uh, give it a little bit of stability um of course you can use a pad as well that's quite good um, and on a pad it's almost really stretched isn't it because it yeah kind that's of right is. yes okay um so where a few more people have joined us great welcome a lot, of new, a lot of new faces today. A lot of new faces. Welcome new faces. This is just a spontaneous little demonstration. <laughs> it's, not, it's a bit uh, uh, what should we, impromptu, improvised. <laughs> <laughs> All of the above. All of the above, yeah. But I mean, yes, you can. There's a lot of uh, tutorials on YouTube you can go and find. Some are great and some are terrible. Um, Have a shop around. We've got a question from Mary. Um, mm. Hi, missed the beginning. Can I get it from the start when you're finished? Yep. Absolutely. Yes, you can. So anybody who's joined us late, um, this we will save this to our Facebook page. And Simon will also be doing a an edited, slightly edited version, taking out all of our, you know all of our faffing and stuff. Yes, indeed. At the beginning. So you'll be yeah, able music, to maybe. Um, have a look at that on YouTube at a later stage as well. And I'll also list all the, the colours we're using and all that kind of thing as well. So that'll all be on there. Um, actually, what I'm going to do now, like I said, I did one yesterday. So I'm just going <laughs> to compare the two. This is one I did. Yes, I just want to see where I am. Um, it's kind of going in the right direction. I think I could do with a little bit more. Actually, that's interesting. This is, a, see these rocks are slightly bluer. I don't know if that comes over in the in the camera. Yes, one can actually um, see that. But what I might do is just strengthen that area up a little bit. And then of course we've got this here, but I've, I'm gonna put a little bit more color in the water, a little bit of darker in this darkness in the water. Um, so this is, once again, Payne's gray and a bit of cerulean blue, oh, cobalt blue, I think. I mean, do you find, do you often go back and I mean, I know with this, you tend to do a sort of a practice run. Yeah. But do you ever go back and 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 repaint a painting? Do you, do you see when you haven't got something right? Do you see it as a failure, or do you no, sit I, there and just? I think it's if you can, it's it's a really instructive, informative, educational to paint the same scene again almost straight away because uh, that way you're not so precious about it. Like I like I said, I did this one yesterday just quickly to see how I would do it rather than making any big mistakes here this morning. Um, but it works, yeah, you know, you get familiar with it and you can improve on it. 
and I think by the 453rd time it's usually just right <laughs> yeah so I'm now just this is still quite damp here but I'm just going in with a a very dark bluey grey mix and that's just giving a nice little mysterious feel to it down here um, you don't want to go too far oh, it's a little bit darker over here looking Ooh, have I gone too far but just uh, just go lightly let's go a bit more here oh my god it's, it'll, it'll kind of blend in a little bit anyway let's put a little bit of um, some more flicks around here just kind of trying to bring that see we've still got a light area there and that light area down the back there um, so actually I'm, I'm gonna let that dry and I might just put a little bit of texture how are we doing how are we doing time wise you know I have absolutely no idea because I'm not oh. wearing a watch 11.07 okay 11 we're over 20 odd minutes or so um, Right, this has gone great <laughs> quicker than I thought. What I might do, shall I add a little bit more detail to the trees? I, I don't know. Like I wouldn't trees. overwork it. No, I right, think. yeah, I think you're right. What, we go home early, have a little coffee. Yeah. yeah. And um, have we got a cake left? <laughs> we have, we? We've got some Monica's homemade cake. That's, that should be on a video. Never mind this. What I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to put a little bit more greenery. Yes, that's a good idea. I'm going to add a little bit of sharp intake of breath, a little bit of Naples yellow and sap green and that will give me a nice opaque, um, I think we've got that nice opaque, uh, here's my Naples yellow. What, I'm going to, what I want to do is flick some in these dark, it might, it might still be too damp, let's have a look. I'm trying to get a nice little, that's too green. Um, just those little tufts of grass. Yeah, just little tufts of grass. Let's go smaller, even smaller. Um, a bit of white. Oh, let's see. So actually I've added shock horror. I have the smelling salt already. I've added some opaque gouache white to the mix because I just want to get a couple of... Phoebe has said that's great. You just gave it more depth by adding that extra dark Ah, there we are. It's, it's paid off. Like I said, sometimes it can all go horribly wrong. But to get these grassy bits in, you need this to be nice and dry. And then I've added, you can try with just the colour, but I kind of always add a little bit of um, um, white gouache, uh, zinc white, just to give a little opacity to the to the colour, you see what I mean? So now I've got, it's quite nice, especially it works flicking it over. I've got a slightly smaller, but these are brilliant. These are um, travel brushes. I'm not quite sure what size it is, but a little bit smaller. Um, but this is nice, they just sort of. Anjali has said that um, she is using a 300 gram smooth and she's not happy with the way it's written. Ah, okay, yes. Um, if you get my meaning, it's very hot and muggy in Adelaide, I can hear thunder. I usually always stretch my paper, still skeptical, still skeptical about not stretching. Yes, fair enough. Great to see you guys, I've missed you. Thanks, Anjali. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Well, persevere, like I said, perhaps it's with a muggy, muggy area, might that extra weight of paper may just help. Uh, alternatively, yes, do go through the the motions of um, of stretching it as well. That would that would give it a little bit of extra stability. I mean, I'm kind of working uh, quite qu quick here. It's that extra, slightly thicker paint. You see, just oh, it's a bit runny, but I'll I'll let that um, do its own thing. Um, like I said, ideally that those big strokes should have been drier and then the, the little wispy grass would have been less fern-like and more um, spiky grass-like. The um, challenge of working to your eye and your one hour time constraint. Exactly, yes. It should be a, a pleasant three hours with uh, uh, coffee, biscuits, um, maybe leading to a glass of wine, who knows. So now I'm going to add a little, I've got some pure white, zinc white, let's have a look. 
this is um so is that the gouache winter newton designers gouache zinc white it's a lovely opaque and creamy mix isn't that a big no-no a big no there will be people who've swooned and doctor ambulances will be on the way with smelling salts to revive the purists who would not be using white you could go over this with um what's that stuff called masking fluid um because that will you can mask over there and then rub that away afterwards for your pure white highlights but i'm a little bit lazy a little bit speedier so i'm going to just look i'm just going to put some little dots let me just zoom in on that so people can actually see what's going on i'm just putting a few little quite good have little horizontal ones let's have a bit more white over there and uh you just got a random little, especially over the, see, over the dark areas, it just gives it a little bit of extra sparkle. It's like little starbursts in Photoshop. Yeah, that's right, little starbursts. Once again, it's, it's kind of nice if it's uh, dry. Do you, do you think you can paint without a hand so that it's not in the <laughs> it's right. way? Yeah, there you are. That's <laughs> no, okay, I'm yeah. teasing you. A few more of those. You can't overdo it, but keep them random. Don't just like go da 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 da, which some people tend to do. Um, what else we got? So, I think. Are you ready for your, your leaves? Ready for coffee and a piece of cake. Now, the, let's give it a quick once over with a hair dryer. Put it down here. Yeah, I think here, you see it's just gone a bit blurry. I might just let it all dry and then I'll come back with some flicks on top. Um, we need to get you an extension lead for next week. Yeah, now. we'll save up and get an extension lead. We need it about that long. We're looking at getting an extension lead for the camera mic as well, aren't we? Yes, we are. I, I mean, mean, just a bit of feedback from you guys. What is this? What is the sound? <laughs> Cut! It's, it's, it's not going up! Um, what has the sound been like today? It'd be lovely to get some feedback from you guys because we are aware that the sound, we do have a proper mic attached to the um, the phone, but we are aware that sometimes people say my voice is rather loud and Simon oh, sure. is a little soft. But I oh, shan't say anything. That's just kind of life, isn't it? <laughs> well, we have. Yeah, we have. I wasn't going to say anything, darling. We have bought a different cable, so that this microphone should be clearer now both for and after the uh of the camera but we'll see so all i've got now what's quite nice you can either have some overhanging branches here or if you look at the picture here we've got a few little um i'm sure jeff the photographer just had a bush with him and just put those in there just for an extra bit of dimension but let's have a look i'm just going to very fine fine brush just fit that you could use what they call a rigger but this, these are. What is a rigger? Rigger's quite like that, but it's it's longer, longer bristles. So it kind of gives a little nice okay. little flick. Great for telegraph poles and cables. But these are good. I mean, it's funny. I, I've tried all sorts of different brushes, and <laughs> right now this is my favourite. These are a little set, which comes from the SAA, called SAA Travel Brush. And they just all kind of come off and click back together. Isn't that a freebie you got? Free. It was. Yeah. Because... The best brush I've got was I had free. Uh, yeah, for people sort of saying how great I was and um, signing up to join the SAA, I think, yeah. But thanks to the person who uh, so, set that up. So just for people who don't know, um, the SAA is quite a good... What does it stand for? It, the Society of All Artists, which sounds a little bit strange. Right. But, but it's, yes. a, it's a UK-based group, but they also have a, a, a very comprehensive shop. Yeah, great suppliers. Um, uh, they'll deliver over to France as well. Um, so it, it's, it's definitely worth checking them out. They've got a, good prices. They, I use their... If you remember, you get... I'm a, not sponsored, but I use their watercolour paints. If you, if you remember, you actually get a discounted rate to, as well, don't you? That's right, yeah. So I use these. But if you do go through, if you are thinking of joining them, contact us and we can give you, I think there's a promotion code or something. Which yeah, that's right. That, Good idea, yeah. So, yeah. Please do. I've had the yeah, magazines. But you've used them for years, discount. haven't you? I have, yeah. 
hopefully the business will continue after Brexit. And even with um, COVID, we found deliveries to France were arriving within maximum yeah, two great. to three days. Yeah, it's very good. It's been fantastic. This may all end, of course. And we'll be checking out the, the French equivalent, which I think is Les, Les Beaux-Arts. Les Beaux-Arts, yeah. We've okay, right. As well. I've got a few little branches in here. And now I'm going to go, go in quite... Um, Sorry, I nearly stepped on a spaniel. She insists on, on sticking close to us. I'm just dabbing in a few quite dark shapes, just a hint at um, quite, quite zoom random. In again. You know, you don't have to be too specific. What you don't want to do, I think what everyone does, is actually they've, they've got the little uh, stick and they kind of go like that. So what are Anyone you who does that, they will have to go and stand in the corner. So what are you doing instead? What are we doing instead? Keep it random. Good colour, so quite. A, I'm going to put it on dark green first, and then have some light green highlights. So I'm just kind of dabbing that. See so yeah, how it's sort of. So, but I notice you're actually using the, the brush from different directions as well. Yeah, so right. you're not. You said right. turning it, aren't you? Tur yeah, turning the brush so it. Yeah, like like nature, it's all flicking in different different ways. Uh, it's kind of. I could go on, but I. I think, yeah, the thing to do is just keep it a little bit random. Maybe that needs to come off the page, I think. I'll extend that. There we go, that'll do. And then, what I'll need to do, ideally, is let that dry. But I won't. What I'll do, I'll just put some white. Yeah. <laughs> white and sap green. If you look at the picture, they're quite, quite dark leaves but just little flashes of light they're kind of quite shiny leaves let's see if we can capture that it, it, it's gonna oh. bleed it might do let's have a go we don't care we're reckless so i was listening to a program this morning said take risks so that oh keep keep refreshing the brush it's like oil painting a la prima there we are just add that in here and there so far i think we're okay i think we're getting away with it Bleed's quite nice, actually. Oh, I don't know. That's gone, <laughs> that's gone a bit too uh, too smudgy. Why didn't you tell me to stop? There we are. That's not my job. There we are. Okay. <laughs> so that, I think I'm going to leave that. You see, actually, while I've got this in my hand, I'm going to put a couple little more little flicks over here. Keep your keep your brush nice and rolled to a point, and try and keep it. A bit, no, it's a bit, a bit regular. But I'm going to kind of go back to these guys here now. I think we, that's helping. It's, oh, the brush is almost too big. Is that about the smallest brush you've got? Uh, no, I've got small ones. But it does get a bit daft when you start getting closer and closer with your one hair brush. Who are we joking about with that? I can't remember. Um, I think my mum, she's doing a, um, a botanical oh, really? illustration yeah. course and she was saying that literally she's using these tiny little brushes. Okay. Okay, now I'm just going to finish off with a Faber-Castell black watercolour crayon. Um, so it, yes, you can draw this and moisten it and smudge it around, but I, I kind of like to add just some line work, just to give that kind of watercolour sketch thing, the sl slightly throwaway feel. Um, it's good for rocks, extra leaves here and there, um, stones, but, and it's a little bit more empathetic. It works well with a painting rather than a pencil. Pencil tends to be a bit sharp. Empathetic. Oh, empathetic. <laughs> or pathetic, yeah. You can decide. Here, for example, let's go. Uh, I'm just going to, if you look at the rocks, there's kind of like, there's kind of fissures over there. I'm just putting a few in. And they've got a few nice little... Just vary the pressure. Yeah, you don't have to go around all of them. Now, why do you particularly like using this type of pencil? Is it just quite soft? It is. It's like a, it's like a soft black crayon, yeah. Mm. And it kind of goes onto the pictures quite nicely. And you can get various pressure. You can put a few little verticals in there. Um, it's a nice... You know, you, you don't want to just slavishly go around everything, but it, so it just kind of gives it a nice sort of, uh, just tines it up here and there, if that's what I want to do. A few more little things. 
and then we've got a few little you know almost like little rocks on the beach maybe perhaps even a because yeah, the beach is quite pebbly isn't it yeah let's put a few more I mean don't want to draw all the pebbles actually I could put a few more little verticals in here and I've kind of maybe in the foreground you might want to put a few little actually there's still some pens of drawing shining through this is quite sort of rough really but I'm just sort of giving a little bit of texture here and there you don't want to turn it into a cartoon but I think it just gives a maybe even on the hill there you know when you say to your um, your students when they're in the in the class yeah what step away from the painting step away from the painting yes yeah. and I'm gonna just do one more thing and that's if you look at this bit here there's a few more nice little vertical um, reflections. Yeah. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try and uh, do a bit of that. Uh, what is it? Maybe like that sort of greeny colour. Um, oh, it's a bit white. Huh? The colours are mixing in now. But let's have a. brush has he gone too far um, I to. stop now yes I think I uh, will actually yes I think I'll stop there um, yeah let us know <laughs> if you've um, if you painted along yeah by all means yeah I mean if you did if you did paint along well done I don't think I could have um, do send a send a picture. We'll 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 start putting like a gallery up of uh, people's paintings, and if you want some, uh, uh, and even if they're critique. painted after the after the event, absolutely, yeah. You don't have to paint it all now. I mean, you can if you paint it over the weekend, send something through. Perhaps we'll put some pictures up um, on Monday next week, and um, don't. It's not compulsory, but it'd be nice to see your uh, paintings. Um, but yeah, let's just to sum up. This has been, as you said, quite a speedy rendition of this scene. Uh, very light pale colours to begin with and then as you come forward increasing the strength of the paint and the darkness and the intensity uh, just to kind of give that depth you can see it's a little bit paler in the distance which helps take you into the picture this was a key point that kind of dark shadow there just to take you in and around the corner what's around the corner you want to go there but um, yeah hopefully you uh, you enjoyed that and um, Give us a thumbs up if you'd like to do it all again in the coming weeks. And yeah, just a reminder, please, um, when this is live, share to your friends. Let them know that we're going to be doing these lives. Absolutely, we will, yeah. We'll always give you a bit of notice yeah. um, so that you know when they're coming up. So any shares that you that we get are much appreciated. Yeah, because uh, we, we're, we do have a, a light-hearted approach to life, but deep down we do need that um, support that... Uh, you guys give us which is important and so we are looking forward to seeing you all again hopefully here um, either virtually or physically that'd be great so yeah please when we post this uh, do like it and share it and uh, let's uh, let's build up a, a live group again that'd be great and a big welcome to everybody that we see you absolutely the first yeah time. and yeah. For, to all our old friends as well all great our old friends you. especially yes all right <laughs> okay, all right guys Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the day. See and you soon. Until the next one. Okay. Bye now.